Welcome back. 755 uh, spring often means storms. Well, in Texas, it, uh, every year it's going to mean storms, as we know all too well. But making some easy improvements to your home really can have an impact on the amount of damage that your home could see. Fox Consumer Reporter Steve Noviello is here with some do-it-yourself tips. Good morning. Good morning to you. Joining me this morning is good friend of Good Day, Sandy Tabasinic, home improvement expert. Uh, these are all things that are so super easy to do and honestly very effective because you'll regret it if you don't do it because yes. the cost could be huge. Starting with this right here, the difference between having a surge protector and just a regular power strip is crucial. Yes, you don't want to have a power strip. A surge protector is going to protect your home from the different voltages that are going to come in your house mm -hmm. when there is a storm coming. So ideally, you want to unplug your electronics and everything. Right. Sometimes you're not home. Sometimes you don't, you, know, you don't have access to be able to unplug them. So ideally, you want to have something that has protection, and you want to look for these little lights that are going to tell you if the surge protector is still good because okay. they do expire and if the home is being protected so at the So just moment. because you've got a, a power strip doesn't necessarily mean it has that surge protection, so you want to make sure that you look for that extra layer. Correct. All right, we've got a lot of moisture on the ground. We've seen a lot of flooding and stuff. Uh, easy way to pump that moisture away. Water that gets uh, pulled in your backyard next to the house, mm -hmm. entry of the house. So this is called a floor sucker. It's okay. a pump. It's very inexpensive. All you got to do is plug it in. Oh, wow. It'll just suck the water out. You just have a place where you can dump the, the water. So really, even in your basement, if you've got like standing water and that kind of stuff, you need to get it out of there? Well, for a basement, you might need a bigger pump, but right. this is very easy for somebody to handle in, you know, individually. Perfect. Okay, yes. this real quick, uh, keeping the moisture outside. Yes. Well, if you have windows, you might have penetration of, uh, you know, water or, or wind, uh, you know, going, coming in. So okay. there's two ways that you can protect it. This is weather proof tape and it actually can withstand uh, water or anything. You can seal any gaps you have in the windows. Okay. And then there's another option. It's the... This is almost like a clay. It, yeah, it's called caulking cord. And it's also a weather seal when you have okay. actually gaps between the frame of the window and the glass. And again, so this tape here, this isn't just some regular uh, scotch tape here. This is actually a weather seal tape. It has to be yeah. rated a certain way. And actually, way. funnily enough, in Dallas, you have to get it online. For some reason, they don't have them in the store, so be prepared. All right. Uh, keeping uh, the uh, hail, the wind, all that stuff away, if you don't have shutters on your house, this is a quick fix. Right. So what we're trying to do is we want to create, like with a piece of plywood, okay. you can just create custom covers for every single one of your windows. You label them, and you just know Snap where these one of them, you snap it on, it'll protect it from hail or anything because every time we get a hailstorm, you're going to get a different hit in a different place in your window. All right, this final one here, it sounds like a no brainer. Everyone says, oh, I know I'm supposed to do that. But really, let's be honest, folks, how many of you actually do have an emergency kit ready to go? Yes, it's important to have, but not just the normal things that people think about. You want to have maybe your insurance contract so you know who to contact. You want to have maybe an additional phone with like okay. charge that you can take pictures of what happened. Maybe pen and paper because you might not have electricity. And make sure you have everything in, you know, um, water sealed. You don't have to buy an expensive bag. You can use, you know, Ziploc bags or anything like that. They'll work. So it's not just about, you know, the last minute emergencies. Mm -hmm. It's also extra keys, that type of thing that you can use. If make, and of course, the, the big trick here, making sure that you actually do it. We all know it's a good idea, but you taking that action it. step, it actually you've has to, to be it. in your house. All yes. right, Sandy, always a pleasure to see you. More information right now Thank on our you. website, fox4news.com. And of course, you can share your own spring fix ideas right now on my social media page, facebook.com slash save me Steve. Love it. And don't forget to put the bike helmet somewhere nearby. The too. bike helmets help as well. There you go.